Alright, so today I will be teaching you how to burn downloaded movies to a DVD that can be played on almost any DVD player. So, first, you're just going to want to go on to Google, and you're going to type this in, Axo Torrents. This guy takes the real DVDs of movies, and he rips the video files, and turns them into tiny 700 megabyte videos. So these are space chimps, let's say, 702 megabytes. Or a collection, saw 1 to saw 4, is only almost 3 gigabytes. So these are torrents, and you can watch my video on how to download torrents without any programs. And then once they're downloaded, you will have these 700 megabyte video files. But how do you burn them to a disk? You're going to want to Google up this program. It's called DVD Flick. And all of these links, such as this Axos Movies and DVD Flick, will be in the description. So this DVD Flick can burn almost any video to DVD. You can add menus, subtitles, and it supports many file types. And it will even uh, encode the video to be played on your DVD player. So I have DVD Flick open here and I also have my movie now I just cut this down into a five minute clip just to make this faster of a tutorial so first you're just going to want to either add title or just drag it in it'll load a bit then you can just X this out now first double click the video that has just been dragged in and you can change names and everything so I'm just going to add clip to the end and it already has the aspect ratio either widescreen or default set for you you can add subtitles audio tracks and other languages video sources and chapters so click accept now you're going to want to click project settings you can name what the DVD will be called I'm going to call it Harold and Kumar clip and now one important thing that most people forget is clicking burning and clicking burn project to disk otherwise it'll just encode the files and you have to burn it yourself DVD flick has its own built-in DVD creator that will burn it for you so I'm just gonna call it Harold and Kumar clip and you're just gonna click verify disk after burning to make sure that there's no errors on the disk now click accept next you're gonna click menu settings and you can choose themes for your DVD and you can just preview it here so you can either play it directly or select the title and audio tracks and it won't play the video here of course this is just a menu preview and don't forget to check enable menu and uncheck auto play menu so enable menu will let you choose what you want to watch except don't forget you can add multiple videos here so once you've chosen to burn the project to disk and there's a disk in your tray click create DVD I don't have a disk in the tray but it'll just encode the video so I won't get an error until it starts to burn so click create and as you can see it has started to burn my disk not yet though it's just encoding the video and once this is done it'll automatically burn the it to the disk so just don't forget to burn it to a disk or you'll just have a bunch of files sitting on your computer so thanks for watching my video on how to burn downloaded movies onto a disk